The center of vision is where the viewer is looking. So you can only look at one place at a time. So you can only have one center of vision in a drawing. This is something that happened before perspective came about. Artists would create images that had multiple center of visions. So you can only have one of them and it is right where the person is looking. So here, unless, unless you're doing, you know, three point perspective where the viewer is looking up or down, if you're looking straight ahead, parallel to the ground, then the center of vision is going to be straight in front of the viewer. So the horizon line is at the viewer's eye level. And if the viewer is looking straight ahead, the center of vision will be right there. Center of vision. This center of vision, it is also a vanishing point. It's where the viewer is looking. But since it's a dot here on the horizon line, you can also use it as a vanishing point. If you make this a vanishing point, then it is a one point perspective vanishing point. You could have multiple vanishing points. You could have unlimited number of vanishing points, but you could only have one one point perspective vanishing point, And that is right at the center of vision. So this, is the distance between the viewer and this picture plane. And we found out from previous videos that this distance is important because it changes what the object you're drawing can look like. So if you're setting up a diagram, a perspective diagram, you really need to know where the viewer is, how far the viewer is from this picture plane. So it is, the problem is it is out here in three dimensional space and the drawing that you are working on the surface you're working on is a two dimensional surface. So let's back up a little bit. So here's your picture plane and that's your piece of paper that you're drawing on. So if we put our horizon line in here, it is just going to be a line that goes straight across like that. And I'm going to put the center of vision in here. I could put it anywhere I want. As soon as I put this in here, and this is my center of vision, this also becomes a one point perspective vanishing point. So it's kind of two things in one. We talked about vanishing points earlier and what those are. And so the center vision and the one point vanishing point are really kind of two different things, but they just happen to be in the same place. Just like the horizon line is the edge of the earth, but it is also at the viewer's eye level. So I cannot draw out here in three dimensional space. So what we do is we take this distance and we swing it down here and put it on this flat piece of paper. We're taking this, swinging it down this way. And let's say, we'll just say that's X. This is the distance between the viewer and the picture plane. We want to represent that on our drawing. And so we do that. This is the same distance as this. So if I wanted this, let's say we're working at a scale of one to one and I wanted the, the viewer to be six inches from the picture plane, I would just measure down here six inches and put a dot and that is the station point. So let's do that. Let's make the viewer six inches away from the picture plane. Oh, we, we have to make it smaller than that because that's off my paper. Let's make it, let's make it four inches away from the picture plane.
So there is the station point. This is the viewer's eye. This is the horizon line and the viewer's eye level. And this is the center vision and it is also the one point perspective vanishing point. So if you're drawing lines that go back in space, they are going, if you're doing, let's do that street again. So there's a street and the viewer is standing right in the middle of the street. All these lines are parallel with each other and then going back to infinity, the edge of the earth. And this is the distance from the viewer to the picture plane. And the viewer could be anywhere. They could be, they, you can make this whatever you want. There are some consequences to that. So we have to talk about that in a different video. So this is the farther away this goes, the viewer is from the picture plane. The, I make I make that same distance down here and this can just go forever. So that is the um, that is the center of vision.